Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be exploring uh, one of the latest excellent courses in Coursera. Uh, the course is about Wireshark for basic network security analysis. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be doing a review now for this course, and I very recommend this course for anyone who uh, would like to get into network security and want to learn about Wireshark, doing some packet uh, analysis and uh, how to do some you know. Uh, analysis traffic, capturing of traffic, and basic of TCP IP. So basically here, as you can see, uh, first, uh, this course is lab course. It is not a theoretical course. That's why I, I highly recommend this course. Now, uh, now, if we go, uh, we're going to be also exploring what is needed to pass this course and uh, how the quiz like, what is how the certificate looks like, is it recognized or not. Now, guys, if you want to take this course, this course is not for the certificate because um, it is not from a university or a renowned industry um, entity, right? It is not from ISC2 or ISACA or uh, Offensive Security or Cisco. It is from Coursera Project Network, and while Coursera Project Network is not, um, <laughs> it is a recognized certificate issuer, you won't take this course, you wouldn't take this course for the cert. Take this course for learning the basic of network security analysis, packet capturing analysis, and overall Wireshark. So if you go to project, we go to it, you know, to overview project, and we scroll down and we see here what is required so basically this reading if you click on the reading it gives you an overview about this course now the ungraded external tool it is the lab right the lab is non-graded you don't need to take the lab to pass you take the lab to learn and this is required to pass so your passing criteria is passing the quiz doing the quiz um, your learning criteria, if you want to learn, uh, Wireshark, sharpen your skills or uh, some skills that you have forgotten over time. So this is your, this is what you want to do, right? The angled external tool. Okay, so if you click on that, we, we can see here, this is the lab. So in the lab, as you can see, we have two uh, ends. We have the right and we have the left end. So on the left end, you see, uh, let me refresh, you see the uh, desktop, and on the right, you see the videos or the live stream uh, where the instructor is teaching how to um, uh, do your lab and how to learn Wireshark. And click on the arrow here, and we can view the content, right? So first, we get to know the Wireshark. Second, capturing. It shows you uh, the different ways uh, of capturing different protocols, right? So I have radius, basic authentication, decrypting, HTTPS traffic, um, DNS, SSH, analyzing telnet. So you get to know and learn all uh, of these uh, concepts. You learn how to filter and you apply yourself in the lab on the right. So if I click on the lab. So here. Um, Um, so here I can type uh, in the lab whatever I want. 
and on the, the on the right i can see what is the instructor uh, doing right on wireshark so this is introductory to wireshark you would learn how to get started filtering and analyzing traffic with some protocols as we mentioned and here we, you can see live um, students here are the files of any but probably we won't need to download any file and then when you uh, finish the lab of course if, it, if learning is your objective you're going to go to quiz and you're going to click on um, start the quiz in order to start answering your questions of course i'm not going to click try again nor i'm going to click on view back because we can't uh, we can't uh, uh, disclose or show the questions and answers for uh, due to reasons that have to do with Coursera honor code, right? So we can't re reveal the answers in any course, okay? Um, so how the certificate looks like, this is a cert, as you can see, it has the uh, logo Coursera project network, your name, the name of the course, and the verification, which is the most important. And here is the instructor, thanks to her efforts. And uh, let me tell you guys, this, this course, this certificate, I don't think it is going to get you hired. It's not, intended for, uh, to, it's not intended to be an evidence, right, or for of, um, edu some sort of education. It is only for learning new skill, and at the end you get some cert, right? So it's a skill documentation certificate, it's not a career, right? It, it doesn't contribute to your career. What contributes to your career is um, the skill you learn. And the skill you learn for this course is very important if you are to get into network security, cyber security co uh, careers, or, or in general, the blue team uh, aspect, the defense side of cyber security. As far as the course surprise, goes um let me find the surprise so how i can find the course right let me take the link and enter the link here All right, so here we see the, the course page or the lab page. And uh, I can't see because I have uh, taken the course before. I can't remember the price, but I think it is around $50. And you can't get access to this course for free. As you can see, if we scroll down and if you click on, I can I edit a guided project and watch the video portion for free? The answer is other thing is not available for guided projects. I think this is a plausible and feasible answer since um, this is not a course, this is lab. So if you get access to the lab, uh, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense for Coursera to offer you the lab for free. And the course is all about a lab. It's only one lab, right? So, and financial aid is not available for guided projects. Yeah, it is cheap. It is very cheap. It's $50, 50 bucks. I know the definition of cheap is uh, relative, <laughs> but 50 bucks is not uh, too much. Uh, is the course worth the try? That's a difficult question to answer. This, since a Wireshark as a tool is widely available, the resources for learning Wireshark are widely available on the internet, free, paid, uh, hybrid. So it is up to you to decide whether this course uh, worth it or not. But for me, um, I think the skills are definitely worth it. I mean, if you find all of the uh, these skills or these um, these basic aspects of Wireshark to learn completed and condensed in one video to learn, you save your time uh, better than going around the internet and searching and learning in an ad hoc 
uh, way, right? So if you learn all of this course for 50 bucks, and then you can uh, continue yourself learning on the internet without paying, uh, it works. It works, actually. Especially that it doesn't cost too much. Come on, it's $50. So you can, if you are just give up on something on your monthly income, like smoking or drinking or some stuff, just give up on this stuff and pay for this course one month. And then you can on learning yourself from the available resources. All right, so that's it for today. So this is a certificate review uh, video. And see you next video.